Assalamu alaikum. Say loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. If we just have everyone seated and we'll soon welcome, into the, welcome the kids. If we just have all the guests stand up, please.
Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of the MIS administration and staff, I would just like to welcome all the parents and the guests. Um, we all have gathered here to celebrate um, the students' completion of one year of their Islamic studies. They showed much dedication and discipline by giving up their Sundays and coming to MIS for about three, four hours of their day and being dedicated and disciplined to learn, do their homework, give extracurricular speeches, participate in science fairs. All the kids have done much during, during this year. At this time, I would like to welcome and also introduce our heads of ceremony. Um, we have esteemed Malana Farkalita Hosseini, honored guest, um, Brother Sheikh Mehdi, our sister school, IEC Sunday School's principal, Brother Samar Abbas, and vice president of Masum, Brother Aruj Hassan. Um, a special welcome to the, main, to the main people of today's event, which is the students. This is a ceremony for you guys. You guys have showed all the dedication and all the hard work that you have put in, so you well deserve this ceremony. We tried to come up with a very nice ceremony for you guys where you guys can be honored, enjoy yourselves, and have a very nice lunch, which is a barbecue, as most of you guys know. At this moment, I would like to introduce IEC's uh, principal, Brother Summer Abbas, just for a few words for our Sunday school students representing IEC. If you can just have a few words for our kids. Thank you. So, loud salawat. Sorry, actually, we're going to have one of our uh, students, Sister Fariba Sultani, read a surah to start off our ceremony. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفضل ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فصبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا صدق الله العلي العظيم Before we begin again, I would uh, also like to request Sister Nasreen Abdi, one of our honored MIS teachers, very dedicated, to also take an uh, honored seat at the front. With that, we have a couple more of our honored guests here today. Um, one of our teachers, the inshallah, the future head of department for the Quran department, um, Dr. Kanji. So we'd also like to welcome him to the ceremony. At this time, like I said before, I apologize. Um, if Brother Summer Abbas can please give a few words. Awazbillah min shaitan ar rajim. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim. Respected Maulana Farah Alita Al Husaini, dear children, uh, parents, uh, and the school staff. Uh, um, Assalamu alaikum, and uh, I feel honored to be here. Maulana has me invited me over for this to see this uh, beautiful graduation ceremony here, and I really impressed. I'm very honored um, that uh, to see all of you here. Um, as you know, my passion is children. I I love children, and I work like to work with children, and. Uh, uh, so this is, uh, I like to, de I dedicate my time for the children as much as I can. Um, and uh, so just a few words, uh, like you are the most 
you are our future and you are the most important people to us. And uh, I always admire the parents who take their time on their Sunday, uh, on their Sunday and bring you here. Uh, uh, I, so I admire those, uh, the parents always, uh, because they know and feel the importance of the Sunday school. Um, I also uh, like to admire the, the people who dedicate their time and effort to come here and uh, organize this school. Uh, I know it takes a lot of time, persistence, hard work, and uh, you, you, you have to be here every Sunday, and it, it, it's just not an easy task to do. Uh, and uh, so that's why I say I, I, I respect those people who uh, take their time and organize uh, a school like this. Um, so I don't want to take too much of your time. I just want to say I feel, again, I feel honored to be here. Uh, and another time, I hopefully I'll be able to spend a little more time and talk to you, uh, hopefully. Uh, so, not taking too much time, I just want to thank you, uh, everybody, and uh, uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Thank you very much, Uncle, and just as you're honored, we're very honored to have you here as well. IEC Sunday School has helped us build our foundation, and with the success of your school, we're also growing the success of our school. Um, with that, I would like to invite the MIS principal, Dr. Barb Mahindi, for a couple words for our graduating students. Assalamu alaikum. This is, was my dream to see a graduation in Masum. Mashallah. That has fulfilled now. I'm here to welcome you all, all the graduates. You have done a wonderful job. You're so well disciplined. I can see you here. It's not that easy to control the kids of this age to sit quiet. I'm so proud of you here. You're presenting a very, very disciplined manner here. I'm and also grateful to the teachers who had dedicated, particularly Nassan Andi here. Even in spite of she had a cold fever, she was here to teach the students. And then there are many, I can name it, you know, our school has produced Hiba, Sister Hiba, and then Aisa, you know, they are wonderful here. They're so dedicated. And then also, I cannot forget without mentioning his name, Dr. Kanji. You know, he has given his time here, and Mrs. Kanji both. So. I again welcome you all here for this wonderful ceremony of Masum Islamic School. Please pray for us so that we can progress. It may be a little drop in the ocean, but yet to see a lot. But the blessing of Chahda Masumin, inshallah, will progress this. And also you know that Ayatollah Shistani has blessed our school. When we went personally, he was so happy, he said, Please carry on, and then you'll do great. So I think his blessing, and then all your blessing, I think we have seen this day. Thank you again. Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salwat. I cannot forget Maulana Farkhat Ali Husaini. You know, in spite of his busy evenings, he is here every day. He, way before our school starts, and he's prepared. You might see in them how many English speeches he has given. And you know, that shows that how hard he's working to teach you. I think I'll pray for him so that he can continue the same thing. Inshallah, with his guidance, we can proceed. Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salwat. Thank you very much, Uncle. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to call esteemed and honored Milana Farkalita Hosseini for his message to our students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ لہ وسلاۃ علیہ ولانت علیہ لہ بائی دا گریس آف اللہ این معصومین این اہل بیت علیہ وسلاۃ وسلام معصوم اسلامک اسکول ہیز سکسیزفلی این بیوٹیفلی فنش دس اکیڈمک ایئر ان دس ایئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہو ور ان یسن القرآن کلاس ہیو شون گریٹ انٹرسٹ گریٹ انٹرسٹ ان دا کلاس آف پار ایم اینڈ اسٹوڈنٹس آف پار ایم آر ریسائٹنگ قرآن مجید فلوئنٹلی ماشاء اللہ ایز یو نو قرآن کین ناٹ بی فنشڈ ان سچ اے شارٹ ٹائم بٹ فیو سوراز آر taught such a way that students can recite quran e majid on their own invocation and can finish quran e majid with the help of their parents second for and for last 6 week we have been working on the namaz of our students and the results are great in this namaz session we also used to perform namaz by jamaat and now many of our students have by hearted namaz and as uh, performing it uh, correctly mashallah i am also thankful to parents who have helped these children practice namaz at home and i would also request the parents to continue the same invocation and recite their uh, and make their children punctual and perfect in namaz because namaz can help you lead a perfect islamic life namaz also increases your memory power and your will power and it help us to stay away from sins salawat and i am also thankful to the parents for helping their children in memorizing small surah and duas other than namaz and i am thankful to the parents who help their who helped their children in preparing speeches on the wiladat of masumin ali musallatu salam and it was a great pride to see the children delivering their speeches i pray for the staff of masum islamic school and for those who serve this islamic school with great efforts i pray for progress and prosperity in their life and wish them all the best to continue the same work now i would like to say few words to my students and to their parents about how to lead a islamic life and restore the islamic culture one when you wake up in morning you must say salamun alaikum to your parents second on your vacation when you go to places or picnic make sure you make sure you eat clean and halal foods third always wash your hands before eating anything and wipe it with a clean napkin or towel fourth say bismillah arrahman arrahim before eating anything fifth after you finish your food say alhamdulillah or shukran lillah sixth taste a little salt before and after every meal imam jafar sadiq alaihi salatu wassalam says 
by during this you can avoid many disease seventh no matter if you eat with spoon always wash your hands after every meal and when you wash your hands after meal do not wipe it in fact wipe them on your eyebrows and eyes this act will uh, useful for your eyesight and when you earth sorry earth and when you go to bed to sleep recite surah qulul lawahad three times it has the sawab of finishing the whole quran e majid uh, one time prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is it to daughter fatima zara sallallahu alaiha and told oh my daughter you finished whole quran then you are going for sleep to bed fatima zara sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked how i can recite full quran 30s para in short time muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told ki you recite three time qul holla allah will give sawab of the 30s para 30 paras ninth when you wish to do any work for future say inshallah when you achieve anything say mashallah and you dislike anything and when you dislike anything say la hawla wala quwwata illa billah and you should be uh, habitual for islamic culture your eyes your tongue your mouth and your body should be habitual for islamic culture it is very important things if you will adopt the culture of another country or another religion and your heart will be like that be careful for your culture culture makes your heart and your nature and culture change your nature also salawat bar muhammad alaihi wa sallam when you sit in your vehicles and any car and buses say ya aliyo ya hafizo it is very good for your safety and it is very short dua shortest dua be punctual in your namaz again this is 12th and 13th no matter if two or three ayat of quran but make sure you recite quran every day this is how a true followers of ahle bayt alayhi salatu wassalam in your life any you you make your life is total islamic life in your drawing living room in your washroom in your dining room in your journey at your home salawat ala muhammad ali muhammad then you are going for washroom you keep first your left leg or left step in washroom then you are coming from the out of washroom keep your right leg or right left at the out of washroom it is all islamic culture only some things i told you have a safe vacation thank you very very much all all all, all my children please repeat allahumma kun li waliyaka al hujjat ibn al hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaihi fi hadhihi as-sa'ati wa fi kulli sa'ah waliyan wa hafizan wa qa'idan wa nasiran wa dalilan wa aynan hatta tuskinahu arzaka taw'an wa tumatti'ahu fiha tawila
At this time, we want to um, invite the future of our, uh, the future head of our Quran department, Dr. Kanji, just for a couple of words. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I just asked sister to take my place and she, she refused. <laughs> but um, obviously I wanted to pass on uh, the microphone to her because uh, I thought that she should speak also. Um, I'm an old man, although you know my appearance is sort of masked by whatever, you know, but I am a 70 year old man and I have gone through history of madrasa at Institute of Masum. There was a time when uh, there was no center and we used to hold Sunday classes in apartments. That's how our Sunday school started. Uh, Abrar Mehdi was always by my side, sometimes with camera, sometimes with books, sometimes with money, he was always by my side. Um, then we collected some money, went to the stores that sell wooden planks. We made some benches. We carried these benches on our cars and took it to Masum Center, which was on Edison Avenue. Prior to that, of course, we were at McLean running school. So the benches were our furniture. And at that time, there was only one madrasa in uh, Chicago. We took help from other ma madrasas, like from Toronto. We took help from our esteemed alims, including Maulana Yusha, who always was an inspiration to me in my religious endeavors and also in my personal life. He is someone that I miss in my personal life and will continue missing him in the days to come. So with that help, we started this madrasa. Children who went to this madrasa are today fathers and mothers. They are raising their own children. Whenever I receive a thank you note from a bride or a, from a bridegroom, there is always this thank you note that says, thank you very much for imparting me these Islamic values. Uh, and this Islamic education, equipped with this, I'm going to, into my marriage with this man or this woman. When we receive cards like that, we really feel very fulfilled. And I wish the same to you. Uh, you will be taking this education and this knowledge with you as you grow up as adults, men and women. You will be raising your own children. Many of those students who were in our class, some of them are alims actually now, and some of them are teaching in madrasas elsewhere, and they went to the best colleges in this country. So that is our achievement so far. Now, I'm an old man, but uh, I still continue to take interest in my grandchildren and those who are of the age of my grandchildren. And as long as I can move, as long as I can think, inshallah, I will continue to do so. Um, I extend my many, many thanks to young people like Azu. Where is Azu? I don't see him. Azu, Faizan. These are wonderful young men who respect their elders, who really make us feel uh, elders in this community. Uh, finally, I have to thank my old colleagues uh, as we came along, Dr. Muhammad Ali Jafari, Uruj, um, Shami Hussain, Kaim Shinoi, all these uh, who are now of my age, Uruj, how old are you? you. <laughs> so all these people really helped us. 
there are two messages that I want to go, I want to give you before I take my seat. One, don't make small goals, make big goals. Make a plan to reach those goals and Allah will help you. Once, if you read Surah Yusuf, uh, Prophet Yaqub told his sons who actually had thrown Nabi Yusuf in the well to ask for help from Allah. So make no small goals. Make big goals and try to reach them with the help of Allah. Two, this is a community working together. Your role is to ask the community what you can do for the community and not wait for the community to tell you what, what you can do. Um, it's important that we pull together everything that is going on in the community, pull together. One person or two persons pulling will get tired very soon. These are my two messages to you. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless your families. Assalamu alaikum. Finally, before I take my seat, I want to also thank uh, Mulana Farkalita, who happens to be my very close friend's son. When I met his father, he was only six months old. <coughs> Oftentimes, I have brief discussions with him um, regarding what uh, the the problems are with our community and how they should be solved. And so I thank him also for his input and for his ideas. Uh, even at this age, I am learning uh, from people who are much younger than me. Salaamu Alaikum. Thank you very much, Kanjianko, for that uh, very inspirational speech as well as the historical background that you provided to our school. I hope all the students were listening because he, he told you the history of Masum Islamic School and how it was formed early on in the days. And it went from people sitting on the floor with wooden desks to today what you guys sit in. You guys have real desks and you guys can flip them around and I hope you guys like them. But yes, we have come a long way, mashallah. With that also, I would like to invite um, Sister Nasreen Abdi's husband, Brother Hassan Abdi. Assalamu alaikum. Probably it was the first week last year when we started this school. I think probably it was the first week. And uh, there were only a few children and a few parents. And um, I've seen schools, you know, getting started and getting closed here for years. But for whatever reason, this time, I saw a special kind of determination on those parents' faces as well as the children's faces. So I thought to myself, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the beginning for the Masum school. And of course, I said a few words, and I do remember saying that America challenges every immigrant who comes to this country. They challenge by saying that the third generation, you were coming in fine, coming with your culture and religion and everything, but your third generation belongs to us, meaning the very, very main American, mainstream American side. That's fine. There are good things being part of the mainstream, very good things, some. But lots of generations, lots of uh, immigrants who came in here, they forgot about where they really came from. And they became not so good kind of Americans. The determination I saw on the faces of those children and the parents and Azu and Fezan, Dr. Abraham Mehdi, Qibla Kaaba, I think I can say that now, after one year, that maybe some of us will belong to you by third generation, but I tell you, not this generation. This generation, inshallah, will keep what we are passing on to them, what we got from our parents. 
अब लागे ठे kudos and congratulations to all the parents because one of Maulana who came by here said and I'm sorry if I'm taking one more minute he said something very interesting and I cannot forget there was Maulana Muhammad Asad Yawar Sahab he said don't tell me ki ye bacche jo hai, these are children of America no they are not they are your children they will be what you want what you want them to be so congratulations to all the parents that they want their children to be what they are here. And I would also like to uh, request to the Honorable Vice President of uh, Masum Executive Committee to take Masum School uh, particularly under his own uh, protection and umbrella. Thank you, Salawat Bar Muhammad. Thank you, Uncle, for that very motivational speech. Uh, we would also like to call our last speaker, and he was just mentioned right now, Vice President of Masum, uh, Brother Ruj Hassan. Dear students and parents, Asalaamu Alaikum. Indeed, it is an honor to be here looking at your happy faces and glooming faces of parents who are very happy for this graduation. <clears throat> I heard three or four words in the last few speeches and I'll explain a couple of those. I heard the word Buddha. Mr. Kanji always call him Buddha. Today he has proved it. He says when he saw Molana Farakleta first time he was six months old. So he is indeed Buddha. <laughs> Non-stop help to school. Doesn't matter who's in the office. Doesn't matter who's running the show. Dr. Kanji has time after time helped the school. We sincerely thank him and expect him that even in his old age, he will continue to do that. I also heard about the history of Masum school. Yes, we definitely came a long way. One thing was missed. I'm sure some of you remember that we also conducted classes in a distant library in Wilmette for months. So no matter who is in the office, they have tried their best to continue the school. I also heard Abdi Bhai, to take school under us, my protection, I'm simply honored. Protection is our hujjat, Imam Mehdi Akhuzaman In every shape or form, whatever we do, we need his protection. And that's all we need. Other than that, graduations are my favorite days. And not only graduation, what comes after that? Some sort of party, some sort of eating. So that, that makes it even more pleasant. Inshallah. Inshallah. Rabbi, your efforts are definitely commendable in this case. And more than you, these youth, these administrators, they are, their nonstop help is just unbelievable. Thank you very much for being here. Without you, we could not have achieved that. Thank you very much. Wow. Shukriya. Khuda Hafiz. Faizan. Thank you very much for that message, Uncle. And at this time, before we start our award ceremony for the kids, we're going to have one of our MIS students, second grade student, uh, Raza Alvi. He's going to recite uh, a kasida for our students. Raza. Allah, 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 Allah,
तब कहीं जाकर अच्छा थोड़ा सुकूप आती है माँ फिक्र में बच्चों की कुछ इसलिए खुल जाती है माँ ना जवाब होते हुए बुरी नजर आती है माँ अपने पहलों में ताकत रोस्त होता है कि तरह एक पाया पांच शारा हमको रतवाती है माँ घर से जब परदेश जाता है कोई नूर नजर हाथ में खरान लेकर दर पे आ जाती है माँ And now, uh, on the request of our principal, we would uh, request if any parents, any parents at all, whoever would like to come up and give a message to their kids, to all the students in general, and to other fellow parents, to encourage them to keep, uh, to stay dedicated, to keep bringing their kids, and they are the main key to instilling an Islamic education into their children. We can only provide them with education, but to instill it into them, it's going to be up to them. So if there's any parents, just a quick message. I didn't really think there would be. I'm not, I'm not surprised, but I know all the parents wish well upon all the students. Um, at this time, we will be beginning our award ceremony. Uh, we're going to have... Right. Oh yeah, Milana just reminded me, um, a lot of our students uh, we have a good attendance today, but a lot of our students uh, did go on vacation already. Uh, they all went to Iraq and uh, other different countries. So we would have more attendance today, and we would also like to congratulate them and wish them well um, if they're in Iraq or wherever they are. But uh, inshallah, next year's graduation they will be attending. But yeah, this year they have already gone on vacation, so we wish them well as well. Uh, just on the point of that, I want to say that inshallah, next graduation day, we are holding it before the school closes. So that all the children, those who are vacationing out, they go to the Far East, can attend this. Inshallah, we'll keep this in mind next year. We'll do it just before the vacation starts to the schools. Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salwar. I want to I want to clear a very important and most important message for you because I am looking some my children, some my young girls and some my young uh, son and brothers. We have a lot of problem in my community, you know, in Iraq, in Iraq. But there is a slogan in Iraq after the removal of Saddam, okay, we want Hausa, we want Hausa and we want Hausa. And we want all things in the umbrella of Hose Elmiya, Madrasa, Marja, and our Ulamas. This, this school will be not any time, excuse me, Abdishab, in the umbrella of the executive committee. Executive committee is the umbrella of the school. All my communities in the school, not you are not in the school now every time you are in school in islamic school in your uh, in your house in your home every time you are in a school you come in a school i will tell you how what is the importance of dalis and beard what is the importance of namaz how you will do in community work how executive committee will work according to the islamic the saying of masum salam i will teach and all our committee is the umbrella of Madarsa. I say it's, uh, there was an important sayings written on the wall of Iran before uh, 30 years then I was in Iran. Ke there was a slogan, ke I will make whole Iran like a school. My Iran ra Madarsa khayim kunin. So in, you all, as a, I am also a student of in Madarsa, ke I am a teacher. Ke inshallah, whole community and whole things will be in the umbrella of Babul Ilm and a gate of Ilm Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam Okay, thank you very much to all our speakers. Uh, all the speeches were very inspirational, motivational, historically educational, all types of things. So thank you very much to each and every one of you. Uh,
even though we didn't notify all the speakers before that we wanted you to speak, I'm very thankful on behalf of the administration that you guys were willing to speak on such short notice. And you guys came like you guys prepared for a speech. So I guess you guys were expecting that I would tell you guys to speak. So everyone had an idea. Because it looked like everyone was prepared. Unless if you guys are such good speakers. I, either or. I don't know which one it is. But we'll take that you guys are just very good speakers and are always prepared. Um, now to the students. Sorry for making you wait so long. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed some of those speeches and learned something from them and uh, just whatever, something that was enjoyable for you. Uh, now we're going to start your part of the ceremony, which is the award ceremony. So at this time, if the first row of the girls can stand up, we are going to start presenting the awards to the girls of MIS first. We can also have the heads of ceremony stand up. They'll be presenting the awards and shaking the kids' hands. No, no, right there. Gomel and Sister Asia, if we can have you usher the lines. Okay, so we have, with our kindergarten class, we have starting with Sal Sabil Aboud. We have Rukaya Alvi. We have Farwa Qasim. Wafa Al Guzi. We have Zainab Safdari. We'll just have these students take a picture. Up next, we have Sarah Asadi. Asadi, sorry. Then we have Fariba Sultani. We have Fatma Al Guzi. Hajar Al Hamdani. Zara Alhamdani. And Zainab Alhamdani. Zara Rizvi. We have Nura Al Asadi. Oh, 
salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Sarah al Shamari. Zana Balguzi. Okay, then Salma al Zirajawi. Sarah Rizvi. Sarah Mirza. Wala al Batat. And Zahra Abidi. We have our fourth grade class. If the fourth grade class can stand up. Hara al Batat. Zahara Sultani. Suman Askari. Aman Askari. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Gufran Hadi. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Right, and then we have our fifth grade class. Fifth grade class, Nadia Al Zirajawi. <laughs> Nazifa Safdari. And then Nur al Yasri. Thank you. Now we will begin with the MIS boys, beginning with kindergarten. We have Muhammad Al Hamdani. We have Muhammad Bakr Al Hamdani. Ali Hadi. Allahumma 
Hasnan Al Yasri. Mustafa Abud. And uh, inshallah, our future student council president, Sipdan Al Yasri. That completes our kindergarten class. Look at oh my God. Now we're going to go into our first grade students with that Molson Rizvi. Ali Aboud. Abbas Al Zirajawi. Ali Al Hamdani. That's our first grade class. Good job. Again, like we announced before, a lot of the students have gone on vacation, so we wish we would have had a bigger graduating class. Moving on to second grade, we have Muhammad Rizvi. Hussain Al Zirijawi. We have Raza Alvi. Mustafa Safdari. That completes the second grade class. We'll begin with our third grade class now, Reza Mojis. Ahmadi Naweed. Abed Rizvi. <laughs> we have Araj Hader. That completes our third grade class. We're going to move on to our fourth grade class. We have Ali Al Sadi. <laughs> we 
We have uh, Haider Al Yasri. And we have a good volunteer of ours, Karar Hadi. And that completes our fourth grade class. And that completes the 2010 graduates of Masum Islamic School. If we can have one more salawat, and after that, if everyone wants to clap, we can clap. One loud salawat. Okay, let's say one loud salawat. As Faizan said, we are giving surprises here. It's a surprise for him. I request our administrators, Faizan, Azhar Mahdi, and Kumail Mojis, to come here to speak one minute how they like it and what they want to do it. I think I'll give the mic to Azu and Kumail first since I've been hogging it all day. We have our hardest worker over here, Kumal Mojis. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Faison, thank you for saying it and taking that back very fast. But uh, I wanted to congratulate all the graduates for the 2010 MIS student class. And we really want to just say, I know on the behalf of myself, Azu, and uh, Faison, that sometimes it is difficult waking up every Sunday, getting the agenda ready for you guys. But every time that we're here, all our time and effort we see that it pay off as soon as we see you guys just in your classrooms, just sitting in circle time. We appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you for coming, participating, and inshallah, we'll see you guys next year. Brother Azu. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I just wanted to congratulate all the students. Mashallah, you've done a hard work. We've seen it for the past year. And inshallah, with the support of Milana, with the support of the Masum Executive Committee, with the support of the MIS administration and staff, and inshallah, next year, we will, we will do a lot more cool things, a lot more fun things, and inshallah, we'll make it more organized and we'll work harder together. And inshallah, I want to congratulate you one more time. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Muhammad. All right, well, since I've been speaking, since I've been speaking for the ceremony, I just want to congratulate all of you once more. And like I always say, you guys are the reason we're motivated to do this. Like Azu and Kumal both said, it's sometimes hard on Sundays to wake up, as it is for the rest of the teachers as well. But when we come here, when we see your smiling faces, you guys running around, sometimes bouncing off walls, we do get happy, and sometimes we get a little annoyed by it, but it's fine, though. We, we love all of you guys, and we are more than happy to be doing work over here because it's not, we're not doing it for ourselves. We're not doing it for you. We're all doing it for the betterment the betterment of our Islamic community, which in end makes our world better. We all must be a benefactor to society in one way or another. With that, our principal is going to have an announcement. Okay, I have another surprise. That surprise is again my request. You know, the parents should be so proud. We have the teachers, those who are students here, they are the teachers. You know, first the credit goes to the parent, bringing up so perfect. So I request those two teachers to come here and say just a minute, and then I really congratulate the parents again. Sister 
Asya Abdi, please come here. It's a surprise. Very dedicated from the youth teacher. <coughs> yes, uh, First of all, I'd like to congratulate all of you guys. You guys have done a very good job. And um, inshallah, for next year, you guys will all be prepared and um, uh, behave in a better way. I mean, <laughs> be more motivated and, yeah, mashallah. Now I request Sister Hiba, please come forward. Hiba no. Akbari. Asalaamu Alaikum. I remember when I used to come to Sunday school, it was like 10 years ago, there were like five students and now mashallah there are so many more and a lot more organized and teaching here has been so easy because all the kids are so wonderful and congratulations and inshallah next year will be better. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and we want to do one more special thanks to another uh, youth member of ours just like just like Kumail Azu and I and sister Asia and sister Heba. If everyone can do me a favor, and if everyone looks back, there's a black camera over there. If everyone can look back into it, and thank you to Brother Arib. He's back there handling the cameras. And thank you very much, Brother Arib. He has been the number one office manager, and he takes care of records, filing, and a whole bunch of other paperwork. So thank you, Brother Arib Akbari, for all the work that you do. And thank you for putting us on camera. Everyone wave at the camera. And I'm sure he's waving back at you guys. Okay. <laughs> yes. He's, 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 in a, uh, he's preparing for his, uh, some classes. That's why he's um, off for a few, day, few weeks, because he has um, some obligation from his college to do. So I'm also grateful to him. You know, he showed such an interest. Yeah, that's another person we forgot. Thank you for reminding us, Heather. Uh, Brother Sean Valji, he's our third grade teacher. He hasn't been able to attend for a couple of weeks. He is, he is uh, going to pursue medical studies for medical school. So he has to obviously pay attention to that side of his life as well. But inshallah, he will be joining us next year, hopefully, if he can clear out his schedule. And at this time, we would like to have a special award ceremony for our dedicated teachers who every Sunday are here and they're the main component of our school. We can open the lights, we can have paperwork, but they're the ones who do the teaching, assign the curriculum and assign homework assignments. So our teachers and also the volunteers. And our principal will be presenting. Okay. Well, starting with our kindergarten teacher, she wasn't able to attend today. She wasn't, she was, she came ill. Um, Sister Zareen Nakvi, we would like to recognize her. She is our kindergarten teacher. She has done a great job. Her word, like I said, she wasn't able to attend today due to her, her illness. Inshallah, she will feel better soon. With our first grade teacher, our honored guest uh, also for our graduation and respected teacher and also a political science major just like me so I always respect that because she's a political science major and I love political scientists Sister Nasreen Abidi Our second grade teacher, Sister Asya Abidi. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I request all the gathering here to recite a Surah Fatiha for his dad, Karar Abid Haider Abidi. Please recite a Surah Fatiha for him, for, for giving us such a wonderful per person here.
بر محمد وعلى محمد صلوات Our fourth grade teacher, Sister Heba Akbari. I think the, stu the fourth grade students want to congratulate their teacher. Go ahead, clap. <laughs> Mashallah, whatever you guys want. And you probably thought they didn't like you. Well, now you know. And our fifth grade teacher, who was also not able to attend, Sister Samreen Zadi. She is also our, she's our fifth grade teacher. Um, our Quran teachers and our Salat teachers and our future, I keep saying this because I want to make sure he comes back as the head of our Quran department, Dr. Kanji and his wife, who's in spirit with us. She wasn't able to attend. She is out of town. Sister Fatma Kanji, if you can please accept the award for yourself and on behalf of your wife. Thank you very much for everything you do. And the most, the most important person who is the head of our whole educational department, the, the head of our teachers department, and he overlooks the whole curriculum and academic teachings of our school, esteemed and honorable Malana Farkalita Hosseini. Now, we would just like to present our last set of awards to the volunteers. Um, Brother Ari Bakbari, if you can come out from the camera room and accept your award, I hope you can hear me back there. Everyone say hi to the real Arib. <laughs> and a thank you. And our vice principal and also the man that takes care of lunch every Sunday. Like I said before, if you don't like your lunch, it's Qasim Uncle's fault. Brother Qasim Sayyid. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And the person who about a year and a half ago had Kumal, Azu, and I sit down across this hall in the dinner hall and requested that we start volunteering to form a Sunday school, which we later on named Masum Islamic School, our principal and your principal, Dr. Abraham Mahdi. Please, Abraham, I'll accept you. Can you take a picture? Can you take a picture? Take a picture. Get, get uncles, if the heads of ceremonies can also please join the picture.
Brother Azhar, if you can come to the main hall, please. One loud salawat for our teachers and our volunteers. Also, um, uh, some of our speakers have already, if everyone can please quiet down. If everyone can please quiet down. Also, as some of our speakers have also um, thanked the parents, we also, on behalf of the administration and staff, would like to thank the MIS parents for bringing your children to Sunday school and making Islamic studies in their life important and thinking of us worthy enough to provide that Islamic education for your children. Thank you to the parents. Also, a special thank you to all the generous donors to MIS, the people that have donated lunch financially, and phys physical help. And one of our most generous donors is Brother Hassan Abidi. Thank you again, Brother Hassan Abidi. Thank you very much for all your generous donations and all your, all your generous volunteering time. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Inshallah, now we will be Preparing for namaz, we will have azan. If the kids can please hand their certificates to their parents or leave them on your chair and proceed to do wazu, we will be beginning namaz shortly. In two, two minutes. One minute, one minute, please. Please, one minute. I have an important announcement now. I want to give the $10,000 check to our respectable guest, Mr. Sheikh Mehdi. Come to me. I want to give $10,000 check to our respected uh, guest, Mr. Sheikh Mehdi, but now I have no $1 also in my bank. Please excuse me my credit and take this key rings of Ya Ali Madad and Ali is the key of Jannat. Please. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. This is an honor to me, brothers and sister and all the students. It is a great pleasure. I am here and as a special guest, I was one of the teacher in beginning. I run this school about 30 years ago and still I want to come back very soon, maybe next year in this debate, inshallah. I just want to make an announcement for everyone that next year we will be contacting you. More like July we'll be contacting you for that teaching position. Thank you very much, Uncle.
It's the last Sunday, you can't mess around, okay? I'll tell you when to go. Yes, baby. Azan, Azan. Allah, Kabar, Allah, Kabar. Allah, Kabar, Allah, Kabar. I should do one. La, I love Allah. I should do La, I said, I am Muhammad Rasulullah. Allah, I said, Ali, and Hotajallah, and Hajjallah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. Rabbi laka sajad tu khadi'an khashi'an zalilan alhamdulillah wa ibadah shukran. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أشهد أن محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أشهد أن أمير المؤمنين وإمام المتقين علی و علی اللہ و سیو رسول اللہ و خلیفتہ بلا فصل صلوات اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اشہد ان علی ان حجت اللہ و العیمت من بعده حجج اللہ حیال الصلاة حیال الصلاة حیال الصلاة حیال الصلاة حیال الفلاح حیال الفلاح 
حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إن صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومماتي لله رب إيك آدمي أوري دراعي كوي تاكي أورتو تاك پردي تاك لوك پہنچ جائن أنت عزن إن أستغفر الله 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 أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير الله عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أصدق الكلمات الحسنة وكلمة شيء أنا تحب يستغفر ربي عبيد إن ربي يحب إياك الصلاة إن أنت حميد مجيد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمد الله مصلي على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر استغفر الله ربي وعتوب إليه الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر بحول الله تعالى وقوته يقوم وأقعد وأركع وأسجد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر استغفر الله ربي وعتوب إلي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر الحمد لله شهد من لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بحول الله تعالى وقوته أقوم وأقعد وأركع وأسجد سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله أكبر استغفر الله وبحمده الله أكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر استغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر بحول الله وقوته يقوم وأقعد وأركع وأسجد سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمد الله ما صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى جل فرج ما ترحم على عجنا وغصنا بحق سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر استغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمده يا ولي العافية أسألك العافية عافية الدنيا والآخرة لي ولجميع المؤمنين يا مبدل السيئات بعرافحة من الحسنات وجعل سنة درجات اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر الحمد لله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين 
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اللہ صل علی محمد و آل محمد وعجل فرج ہیں ان اللہ و ملائکته یسلون علی النبی الذین آمنوا صلوا علیہ وسلموا تسلیما اللهم صل علی محمد و آل محمد وعجل فرج ہیں یا اللہ یا رحمٰن یا رحیم مقلب القلوب ثبت قلب علی دینک البسم اللہ رحمٰن رحم رضی طب اللہ رب محبن صلی اللہ علیہ وعلی نبی اسلام دین القرآن کتاب القابت قبلتاً بے علی ولی انوا امام نبی الحسن الحسن و علی ابن الحسن محمد ابن علی جعفر ابن محمد مسلم جعفر علی ابن مس محمد ابن علی و علی ابن محمد الحسن ابن علی والحجت ابن الحسن اللہ معنی رضی طب امتن فون الحمنک علیہ کل شعین قدیر اللہ مصلی علی محمد والا اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم أي على خير من أحسن خيرا قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ اکبر سبحان ربی العظیم و بحمد اللہ مصلی علی محمد و آل محمد سمع اللہ لمن حمده اللہ اکبر سبحان ربی الاعلا و بحمد اللہ مصلی علی محمد و آل محمد اللہ اکبر استغفر اللہ ربی و اعتیب و الہ اللہ اکبر سبحان ربی الاعلا و بحمد اللہ مصلی علی محمد و آل محمد اللہ اکبر بحول اللہ تعالی و قوته اقوم و اقعد و ارکو واسجد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين أهدنا الشراط المستقيم صلاة الله ونعمت عليه الذي هو العلي الفعال المبين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا وعد الله الصلاة من دون شروط ولا يقوم بها من عبادة إلا الله أكبر ربنا اغفر لي ولي والدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمد الله مصلي على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمد الله مصلي على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر استغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى وبحمد الله مصلي على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وتقبل شفاعته في امتي وارفع درجته بحول الله تعالى وقوته اقوم واقعد واركع واسجد سبحان الله الحمد لله لا اله الا الله محمد سبحان الله الحمد لله لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له 
الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمد الله ما صلي على محمد وعلى محمد سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الله اكبر بحول الله تعالى وقوته يقوم ويقعد وارك واجد الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى ال فرج وترحم على زنا وغسنا بحقهم سمع الله لمن حمده الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الله اكبر استغفر الله ربي واتوب اليه الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى وبحمده يا ولي العافيه سلك العافيه في الدنيا والاخره لي ولجميع المؤمنين يا مبدل السيئات بضع في حال من الحسنات وجعلتنا درجات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الله اكبر الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد السلام عليك ايها النبي ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد واجل فرجهم